All right, everyone. So you should have your SketchUp Terrain models that you got this morning with your fellow students. And now I'm going to show you how to import and match that up to the drawings that you already have created in Rhino. First, you're going to go up to File and then select Import. Notice here that my import panel already has SketchUp selected, but yours might not. So if you don't see uh, SketchUp models or if you're seeing all kinds of files, just go to this drop down arrow and make sure SketchUp is selected. Select your site plan terrain model. Um, I have a whole bunch because I saved them up for other students, but this is the one I'm looking to work with. You're going to get some import options and you can just leave all of these options just the way that they are. Yours might have embed textures or not checked. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we see that this terrain model imports at the origin, and that's because when we geolocated our site models, they were also geolocated to the origin of SketchUp. So this is where all of your models are going to come in. You also don't see a picture from the aerial photo. That's why it's important that we drew those little references on our site plans to make sure that we can use those references to match up with our other um, site plans in Rhino. So in order to make this mesh more visible, I would like you to go to the view display modes at this little arrow and change it to ghosted. Now you're going to see um, this mesh come to life a little bit. So you see that it has all of these subdivisions and we also see that it's got a white surface material on it. If we double click our top and go into the perspective view and change that one to ghosted also, now we can see what's happening in this file. So we have this flat image, which represents the aerial view from SketchUp. We don't need that anymore, so we can just delete it. Then we also have this mesh file, which represents the terrain. Currently, we're seeing all of these subdivisions of the mesh, and that's okay. We're going to change that later. For now, let's just go back to top view. Before we can match up our uh, shapes that we drew, um, we're going to have to turn them into poly surfaces because meshes, which come from SketchUp, don't act the same as the types of surfaces you create in Rhino. This will become a little bit more clear later. Now, Rhino can read meshes, but it doesn't, it doesn't really like working with meshes. So when we work in Rhino, we usually convert things to what's called a NURBS surface. For now, I would like you to select one of the shapes that you created or the shape that you created. You're going to see up in the toolbar, it says one mesh has been added to the selection. So the first thing we're going to do is convert that mesh to a NURB. We're going to use the command mesh to NURB. Press enter and it's going to say it's creating meshes, which is a little confusing because you would think it would say creating NURBs, but actually it's converting it to a surface. Now you see that you still have something selected here. You can just delete that. That's the old mesh. And now we're left with a poly surface. It's also composed of triangles. Let's zoom out and select this shape with a selection window. To get rid of all of these surfaces, we're going to use a command called merge all faces. And that is going to simplify the, the NURBS mesh down to this circular object. For you, if you have a rectangle, for example, if I was looking at this rectangle, I would first convert it to a NURBS surface, so mesh to NURB, press enter, delete the old mesh file, and then select it again. We see that it's subdivided into a different kind of a mesh, and go merge all faces, press enter. And now we see we have a simplified surface. 
So make sure that you do that step before you try to match up because if you don't, Rhino won't be able to detect any edges or um, points with which to match. So as I'm moving a circle and I wanna match it up to another circle, I'm going to use my orthographic points to help me match everything up. So I'm gonna turn off all of the ortho points here, except for center. I just wanna keep center on because that's where I'm gonna match my circles to. Now I'm going to select the background mesh as well as the objects that I drew to match up. And I'm gonna press M for move. Now, if I move to the edge of my circle, it's hitting the center point. And I can use that as a snap to bring it up to this other center point. If I go to the edge of the circle that's already drawn, you can see that even though I drew the circle a little bit differently on the SketchUp model, it's matched up to the very center of the other circle. So now my terrain is in place on my model. If you have a rectangle that you've drawn or another shape that you've drawn, you'll do the same process. You'll select your mesh and the shape that you have drawn, but you will change your snap point. So you might want to use an end point instead. Now we'll use M for move, snap to one of the end points, and then find the same location on your aerial plan where that snap point was taken and match it up. Again, our terrain is placed. So now this doesn't seem like a super accurate way to place terrain, but the problem with working in um, this level of design is that you're not supplied with a topographic map of your site that's been accurately surveyed. Normally in design, if we're working on a site, it's something that has been studied and prepared in advance for us to work on. So if we are um, doing a project for the city of Vancouver, it would be the city of Vancouver's job to either supply us with a site survey that has all the information that we need or to commission somebody to create a survey so that we could use it for the purpose of developing the site. Now, we don't have $5,000 each to go take an accurate survey of our sites. So we just have to use the tools that we have and that we can access for free to give us the general idea. So this isn't going to be a millimeter by millimeter accurate view of how your topography is on the site. And there's a little bit of error in terms of how you match this up. But as long as we're in the close general region of where your site is and, you know, pretty much close to the corners of what you've drawn, I think it's going to work for us as we go forward.